I'm sitting on the plaza between Symphony Hall and the High Museum here in Atlanta in front of the Sonic Playground, a whimsical recreation of recording horns from the early part of the 20th century. Sergei Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 2 is part of our opening concerts of our 74th season, and Rachmaninoff himself made many recordings in this old acoustical horn format. So I thought I'd share a couple of fun Rachmaninoff facts with you as we prepare to hear Kirill Gerstein play live in Symphony Hall with our music director Robert Spano on the podium. Rachmaninoff played in Atlanta no fewer than seven times as a recitalist between 1920 and 1941. The Piano Concerto No. 2, which we feature this weekend, has been performed in no fewer than 14 seasons by the likes of Garrick Olson, Andre Watts, and Horacio Gutierrez. We may think of Rachmaninoff as something of a romantic throwback to the 19th century, but as far as technology is concerned, he was completely up to date. When recording was still a brand new commercial enterprise, using these type of recording horns to record acoustically, Rachmaninoff was in the RCA Victor Studios recording a whole bunch of his solo piano music. And then when electrical recording was possible in the mid-1920s, Rachmaninoff eventually recorded all five of his piano concertos and conducted the Philadelphia Orchestra in recordings on RCA Victor of some of his great symphonic music. So when you come to our concerts this weekend and walk through the plaza and see these fanciful old recording horns, think of the pioneer Sergei Rachmaninoff and you'll hear his music in beautiful modern sonic splendor in Symphony Hall. For the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, I'm Evans Maragis.